what is Deep History Coast? What, sorry? What is Deep History Coast? No idea. Is that what you're supposed to say? Okay. <laughs> what is Deep History Coast? I don't know, but I. it sounds like a combination of history and geography. What is Deep History Coast? Deep History Ghost? Uh, <laughs> is that like... <laughs> Is that like a ghost that's like, I don't know, part of history or something? I think it's something about discovering ancient bones or something. I'm definitely... Oh, I don't you know about that. It's, um, it's the thing they got on the coastline. Like, because I'm in Sharon and Cromer, they got, um... It's all about the mammoths and stuff that we're, like, roaming about everywhere. And it's just looking at the history and the archaeological history of the area. And I mean, I'm really into geography and stuff, so genuinely... I, I do actually know about this. Nice. And I, I, I you know, answer. that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're working on a really exciting project at the minute here at Paston College. We're working in collaboration with a number of organisations in Norfolk, such as the Museum Services, Creative Collisions and Kick the Dust Project. And what they've asked us to do, or asked the students to do, is to create a film, um, so that's a project that is inspired by the Norfolk Deep History Coast. And the students have come up with a poem that um, has, has basically underpinned the, the film. And then they've gone away and they've tried to think about what shots can match up with the poem and to, to create a short film. We've also had professors in and, and, and history lecturers who have given talks to the history students and the history students have worked in collaboration with the media students to, to come up with this project and finally we've created a website where the films can go and where we can do a blog about the creative process and, and how we've approached the film. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so welcome Dr. Claire Harris. I'd like to introduce our history students who have been researching for the Deep History Coast and they're going to um, ask you some questions. And from this, they're aiming to plan a film around some of the information you give and their, and their own research. Emily and Emily Akia will ask you the question. So, um, what is the significance of these finds? So, North Norfolk's Deep History Coast uh, is the 22 mile stretch of coastline between Weybourne and Cart Gap. And that stretch of coastline has revealed some spectacular finds that can tell us about the deep history of the country we now call Britain. Uh, we've got Haysborough with the oldest site for people visiting Britain. We've got West Runton with um, the most, uh, the oldest and largest fossilised mammoth skeleton ever found in the UK. Almost a million years of history recorded in one stretch of coastland and along that um, trail we've got different points where people can stop off and engage with um, the deep past. So are there any other plans to search any other areas of the coast? So I think the finds along the deep history coast give us a great glimpse into what life was like in the past in what we now call Britain. So we've got, uh, if we think about the footprints, we can reconstruct um, probably a family group that was walking along the edge of the estuary. Uh, from the size of the footprints, we can show that there were adults in that group, probably both males and females. Uh, the finds that we have got from the coast are often revealed by storms, they're um, revealed by the erosion of the cliffs. So a lot of what we find um, is found by members of the public, it's found um, outside of formal excavations or formal investigations, so people out Every day collecting uh, fossils and artefacts bring more to our knowledge of the Deep History Coast. It's, you know, for everybody locally who knows about it, if we can talk about it, if you can share um, the research that's been happening, if people can share their enthusiasm, 
share the finds. So we recently published an article about uh, hunting for fossils on the coast and we published that in British Archaeology. So a, a bit of a different audience there. So I think there's, there's lots of different ways. There's also um, the website, um, there's getting it out in social media and there's creating things like videos and um, just all different ways of sharing. You know, people engage with um, the coast in uh, different artistic ways. They engage with it by writing about it, um, either stories, poems um, or creating artwork. So I think this is one of the, the really lovely things that there's an opportunity to engage in many different ways, which means there's an opportunity to share the information in many different ways. Um, history being such a big thing, you could have any bit of it. It would be very controversial to listen to all the different bits of history. I think focusing on something quite local, more people, it might interest more people than mm -hmm. yeah. that. Yeah. Like going to Haysborough, seeing footprints, and it probably, West Brunton, seeing Yeah, they'd probably find more interesting than yeah. something. Uh, you could do a short documentary or um, a poem, maybe. Yeah, I think that would interest quite a lot of people. I think you'd have to like match certain shots up. Um, you get the people to like come in the different parts of it. Yeah, yes. like ask just ordinary people on the street, like because they might not know what it's about. Yeah, you get some like a respect of the place. Castle take six. So the Deep History Coast is really um, the whole of Norfolk, we're a coastal coastal county um, and we've got this amazing history going back really a hundred million years into the past. We've got the chalk in the county which you know dinosaurs were on land further west, these amazing fossils there, right up until the present day and in between things like mammoths and even early humans. Yeah, so this is um, a replica of what's called the Haysborough Hand Axe. The real one's right there behind me. Um, and it's about half a million years old. And it was found at Haysborough. Um, and it was made by a human species, not the same as us, but one of our relatives called Homo heidelbergensis, first found in, in Heidelberg in, in Germany. And this is a typical tool that they would have used. It's called a hand axe but it wasn't really for chopping down trees. This was their butcher's knife set. So red deer on the menu for dinner, this would have been there for chopping up, skinning and jointing their food. So I've got here part of an extinct mammoth tooth. Now you might have heard of woolly mammoths which lived here during the ice age. This is one that was even older. And there were lots of different types of mammoth that lived in Norfolk over the past million years. This one dates from around 700,000 years old and is called a steppe mammoth. Now a steppe mammoth was found at West Runton, it's called the West Runton mammoth, and it was the largest and oldest mammoth ever found in Britain. And we've got most of that skeleton right here in Norfolk Museum Service. Now the other thing goes back even older. This is a 3D printout which dates from around a million years ago. And it's an adult size nine footprint. You can see the big toe, little toes and heels. And this was made at Haysborough, um, say around a million years ago. So there were people wandering around here all that time ago. And believe it or not, this is the oldest human footprint outside of Africa.
Our world is changing, evolving as we speak. We built huts along the coast and fed our families using boats. What we can find here has no limitations. We see the past as a wonder of beautiful creations. So, let us take a walk along the coast, see how the world keeps its spark. From the earliest days, a footmark is seen that allows for our perception of humanity to grow. From back when cave dwellers were seen as clean, and we did not know where our future would go. The footsteps of evolution mould our minds. The way we are created is among our techniques. Of reason and knowledge we left behind. Then, a mammoth's tusk from days gone by was found out of chance and luck. As time grew old, we found more and more, until our curiosity was struck. But you'd be mistaken if you thought that was all, because the coast is a pathway of ghosts. Our children walk in our ancestors' footsteps, and we convince in our minds. The world we have created is much more refined. So, take a walk along the coast. Relive the past, history and ghosts. By learning where we came from and how things were done, we will become better people for years to come.